embarrassed. I'm embarrassed as a human. Tired. Frustrated. Heartbroken. Disappointed. Distraught. Disgusted. Disgusted. The inhumane murder of George Floyd has become a far too common image in America. We're here today to say no more. No more. Enough. 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 Enough is enough. People who look like me should not be afraid around law enforcement. I'm a human, just like all of you. My blood is red and my heart pumps that blood. I'm a human too. I believe the issue to be systemic. And because it's systemic, we all can play a part in fixing this. We need structural reform, uh, not only from the community, but from law enforcement in a collaborative way. Antiquated laws and legislation needs to be amended or repealed, especially those that are prejudicially biased to people of color. Racism is taught and learned. It's not something you're born with. Let's do a better job of educating our youth and the younger people behind us. We come up with real solutions to make significant change. The right actions speak a lot louder than the right words. We stand united against racism, against police brutality, we stand against a broken system. Against oppression. Against injustice. Injustice. We stand against injustice. We ask that you commit to listening with an open heart. It's time we all educate ourselves and put action to words. It's time for a change. For change. It is time for change. It is time for change. It's time for change. It is time for change. some of these players want action instead of statements. Uh, Nate, what's your initial reaction to seeing the players come together and put this out? I love seeing it. I love seeing players use their platform. Uh, you know, we understand that there is certain privileges. And before people get uncomfortable and they say, oh, here we go again, another black guy on TV talking about white privilege, I'm also talking about the, the privilege that... I'm also talking about the privilege that athletes have. Um, when you're a professional athlete, whether you're in the NBA, baseball, hockey, whatever you do, you also have a privilege. You can get pulled over. A cop can walk up to your car, look in there and, <laughs> Nate, how you doing? Nate, oh, I didn't know that was you. Hey, listen, man, you're swerving. I see you're playing with the radio. How about you just slow down, man? Have a good one. Good luck next week. Um, be at a restaurant. You know what? The line is long. Hey, come on in. It could be people arguing. A, a police officer comes over. He starts to push people away. He sees one tall guy. Oh, how you doing, man? What's going on? I love that three-pointer last week in the game in the fourth quarter. Like, we also understand our privilege. And when I came on the show last week and I said, if you sit back as an athlete and you don't use your platform to speak on the injustices, you're just as cowardly as the people that are committing some of these atrocities. And I know that those are heavy words, but I want to put that responsibility on athletes, too, that you do have a privilege. The only difference between black athletes and somebody that might have privilege, privilege every year of their life is that when we take off the jersey, sometimes we're not recognized. And I think athletes are starting to realize that. You know what? I need to say more. I need to do more because there's certain instances in my life where I do have privilege. And I need to speak for those who don't. I need to speak for those who aren't recognizable. I need to speak for those who can't stand there and look an officer in his eye and all of a sudden get let go because he had a game-winning touchdown in Sunday's game. So I love that NFL players are stepping up in a moment where they have time, they understand the temperature of society, and they know that people are listening. It's appreciated. Yeah, Nate. I'm sorry, Kate. Yeah, Nate, you're absolutely right, man. When you talk about athletes having the platform to, 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 to make real changes happen, this is what it's all about, man. You know, everyone can talk the talk, but can you go out and physically walk the walk? And to watch these players on their own volition go out and, 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 and put this video together, uh, you know, when we first were talking about it, I, you know, I thought it was an NFL put on video because rarely do you find, you know, the high-profile players that were in that video be able to, you know, actually come together and all be on the same page for a common goal. And that's what this has done. This is this has uh, united us, and hopefully the NFL um, and its players can can somehow make some change. You know, they can physically go out and go into some of these communities and implement some change, uh, you know, some training with the police forces and things like that, because uh, black lives do matter. And it's, 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 it's great to see 
that everyone's on the same page and we're all working for that same common goal. Yeah, the NFL superstar doesn't have the same advantage as an NBA superstar. And an NBA superstar doesn't have a helmet or a face mask in front of their face for 60 minutes of a basketball game. NFL players, you're guarded by that face shield. So you don't necessarily know Stephon Gilmore's face. You don't specifically know necessarily, if you're not a diehard fan, Sterling Shepard's face or Marshawn Lattimore's face. This was the NFL's young breed of superstars, helmets removed, speaking to a camera, and making statements. You know, when the NBA has issues, a lot of times the players union will turn to LeBron or Kevin Durant or James Harden or Steph Curry. In the NFL, a lot of times it's the 34-year-old offensive lineman who's been the NFL PA rep for 10 years that the fan at home doesn't even know who it is. I have never seen a collection of young African-American NFL superstars come together so quickly and so powerfully in a way that we saw in this video. This is such a sign for progress and such a sign for change for not only you know, the league, but for society that young men coming together and doing it on their own, not because the PR guy said, hey, can you read this statement? Not because the in-house team media guy said, hey, can you do me a favor and read this script while looking at the camera on your iPhone? No, this was organized, this was executed, and it's from the young superstars of the league that not everybody at home necessarily hears from every single time there is a league matter to speak on things. These aren't necessarily all guys who have been up there and have won the Walter Payton Man of the Year and have been paraded around mm -hmm. as really the ambassadors of the league. No, these are the superstars. These are the guys, and they're using their own platform, and they're doing it on their own. And they're asking for change. The ball's in the NFL's court. And the NFL teams, of course, responding. Nate, DeAndre Hopkins, Patrick Peterson, Deshaun Watson, Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham Jr., Saquon Barkley, the Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Yes, they said statements. I guess when I saw it, and it was obviously as powerful as everyone else that saw it, I felt it was more of a challenge, right? It's a challenge to the league. Now, the league has continued to raise money, inspire change, players' coalition, uh, put out their own message standing with the black community. Nate, where would you like to see this go from here? I want to see the league continue to do more. And I use the word continue because they do put their efforts behind the players that want to make change in the neighborhoods that they come from. Um, and it's not just money. We know that the league is a, what, 13, 14, 15 billion dollar industry. So when the NFL says we're going to throw money into the urban communities, we're thankful for that. But we also want energy. We also want these organizations to yeah. use their platform, <clears throat> social media. I want the staff to come out. I want these coaches to come out. I want these owners to come out. I want us all to lock arms um, and go out there side by side and really try to sweep the nation. Because regardless of what people want to look at athletes as, um, sometimes we are the ones that can, can shift things. We're the ones that can make people unite. I mean, just think about the, a football game or a baseball game or a basketball game. There are moments, I'm talking about moments where there are, there is pure unity. And if we can take that same type of essence and spray that like a cologne over the fabric of the nation, then we will have a, a different scent because right now there's a certain stench in certain places where we don't have trust between law enforcement and its community, where we don't have trust between black people and white people, where we don't have trust between two different people who look at life from two different views because they come from two different places. I feel like the league is, is listening to the players, and I appreciate that. I know where the league was when I came in in 03, and I like where the league is at in 2020, and I guarantee they'll be in an even better place in 2030. And Heart that's the whole point. I was chosen to be a victim without knowing. You see beyond all my doubts, all I'm hiding. You bring it out I lose myself to your control When you touch me I'm almost you No.
me a world so far from home Ooh, I am a captive to your ways And when you whisper I am changed I feel you flowing through my veins As a 
dragon's bones and iron and the weak is born.
baby, bounce that ass, bounce that ass, bounce that ass. Don't front up, bounce that ass, bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass, bounce. Bitch, bounce that ass, bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Keep it bouncing, baby, bounce that ass. Charlie Funk, baby, in the place. Little more bounce, little more bass. Best DJ, funky rhymes. Been around the world about a hundred times. You play a hate me, you know this true. You know you wish you was him, you never wish you was you. And if you was, wouldn't know what to do. You play so drunk on the ones and two. So many hoes, baby, you can't count. So much money, don't know the amount. You just bang, bang, some boogie all night. Love it when the girls wear short and tight. Keep it funky, girl, girl, keep it true. Put it on, baby, make you do what it do. Get low, get low with the two. You might forget the party, but he won't forget you. Bounce that ass, girl, bounce that ass. Keep it bouncing, baby, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, bounce that ass. Don't front, girl, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Bounce, bitch, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Keep it bouncing, baby, bounce that ass. You're so sexy, sexy, so fly. Ooh, you're so sweet, make a grown man cry. You can't front, girl, you can't deny. I know you're a freak by the look in your eye. Been waiting all night for this jam. Shit came on, you say, God damn. Looked around the dance floor, couldn't find a man. Grab a girlfriend, girl, do what you can. Plus, I know she understands how to touch and take your ass to Wonderland. Get getting so funky, so funky tonight. Getting so nasty that it just ain't right. Rock your heels, girl, rock them high. Stick your booty out, make the homeboy stay. Bounce that ass, go bounce that ass. Keep it bouncing, baby, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, bounce that ass. Don't fuck up, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Bounce, bitch, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Keep it bouncing, baby, bounce that ass. If you a freak and you know what to do, bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Don't give a fuck that they're hating on you. Bounce, bitch, bounce that ass. You know you roll with the coldest crew. Bounce that ass, girls, bounce that ass. Get down, baby, make it do what it do. Bounce, bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Charlie Funk, Funk, Funk is a pro. Always see the nigga with them funky hoes. When he's in the place, girls, anything goes. Six inch stilettos, sexy toes. Don't stop, baby, move what you got. Push up on the baby girl, girl, make it hot. Whisper in the ear, homeboy, make it clear. You wanna hold it so close and near. Lean your head back, feel, feel the funk. Feel the big bass bump in the trunk. Cause tonight's your night to get crunk. Bounce it, baby, bounce and make that big ass jump. Bounce that ass, girl, bounce that ass. Keep it bouncing, baby, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, bounce that ass. Don't fuck up, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Bounce, bitch, bounce that ass. Bounce that ass, baby, bounce that ass. Keep it bouncing, baby, bounce that ass. Okay, now this is the part of the song where we find out who really knows how to get down. Charlie Funk is in the building, y'all. All the real bitches know how to do this. Get low with it, 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 get low with it. Bounce down, bounce down. Bounce, 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 bounce
started out this morning feeling so polite. I always thought a fish could not be caught who didn't fight. But you got some bait awaiting, and I think I might like never in a little afternoon delight. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Yeah. 